Hello friends, welcome to Dhaka Levin Institute. Today I am going to discuss about laptop RAM section differently. Today's discussion will be meaningful and it will be helpful for you. So be attentive and watch this video till the end. So I am starting this laptop RAM section. This section is very important and I have made this video with animation so it will be very effective for you. So I am starting to discuss about this section. So here we can see RAM IC and there, is, there are two MOSFETs. Uh, they will work as switching regulator switching so we'll see their functions and we also see their uh, is RAM slot so here are the things which will actually will be connected with each other so I'm starting to discuss and to explain this section First, uh, uh, there will be 5 volt BCC, and before that, there will be B plus, and uh, B plus may be 19 volt uh, or adapter volt or battery volt. Okay, so uh, B plus will enter uh, by a coil and then after capacitor B plus will enter into RAM IC and B plus also enter into the first MOSFETs drain okay but uh, to work this MOSFET uh, gate switching is very important so we'll discuss later on and then and there will be after getting uh, these voltage B plus and BCC uh, IO will enable RAM IC okay after enabling uh, IO from IO then uh, there there will be switching uh, of uh, that two MOSFETs two MOSFETs will be switched by RAM IC and then there will be also phase signal and then uh, after coming B plus bolt bin bolt then there will be high low high low in these MOSFETs and by being high low high low there will be RAM voltage okay expected RAM voltage which is required for motherboard okay it may be uh, DDR2 motherboard, DDR3 motherboard, DDR4 motherboard. Okay, it depends on how the motherboard will be. Okay, so here there will be uh, RAM voltage, and these voltage will enter into the RAM slot. Okay, and is the exact voltage. Uh, made or not it will actually uh, analyze this feedback signal feedback signal will actually work for uh, having exact RAM output voltage and when there will be exact output voltage uh, that signal will enter into RAM IC and RAM IC will uh, actually realize that the exact voltage is uh, getting and then uh, after all the signals are ready then RAM IC will send the signal to IO the signal name will be power good and that will go to IO and I will understand I will realize that uh, everything is okay then I will 
uh, actually give the final uh, uh, result and the ram ic will give uh, output voltage ram voltage and these are the steps for laptop ram section and there will be ram voltage too so there are many things are here which we should always uh, uh, maintain always we should watch this and it will be actually very helpful so and then I will also discuss about RAM slot supply RAM slot supply is very important for making uh, the motherboard on okay for display so I will now discuss about RAM slot supply and there are uh, many voltages and I will discuss now it and I have made a chart here and how we will get that voltages and there are some actually uh, very important uh, matters so here we can see that how we will understand the RAM and there we can see that uh, in RAM where we will see when we will see uh, DDR uh, that means DDR1 RAM and there may be uh, like that PC okay and if we see these things we can say that this is DDR1 RAM and for DDR2 RAM there will be DDR2 directly or PC2 for DDR3 there will be PC3 for DDR4 PC4 okay or uh, if uh, the RAM is DDR3L there will be PC3L so like that and uh, for DDR1 there will be PC and uh, the DDR1 operating voltage will be 2.5 volt and uh, BTT voltage will be half of operating voltage that's 1.25 volt and BDD SPD will be 3.3 volt okay and for DDR2 RAM uh, the uh, other uh, type uh, will be PC2 and operating voltage will be 1.8 volt and BTT voltage will be half of that voltage that's uh, 0 0.9 volt and BTT SPD will be the same 3.3 volt for DDR3M PC3 will be the uh, other uh, name and there this operating voltage will be 1.5 volt and BTT will be half that is uh, 0.75 volt and BDD SPD will be 3.3 volt and for DDR4 RAM PC4 will be the uh, RAM another type okay RAM's name and uh, for DDR4 operating voltage will be 1.2 volt and half will be BTT voltage that's 0.6 volt and BDD SPD will be 3.3 volt uh, BDD SPD will be same for all so there are many things are here so uh, always we should uh, consider it always we should uh, actually be careful about that for this BTD, BDD, SPD and uh, there will be other signals and voltages and we have to actually open schematic diagram of the motherboard and then we should find out the voltage and after getting all the voltage okay then we can say that this section is okay okay first is uh, laptop RAM section these are the switching 
uh, we should always uh, uh, watch these steps and then RAM slot supply is also very important for having uh, display okay so if we have uh, no display motherboard uh, this section this section is also very important RAM section and RAM slot is also very important so I hope this video will be very helpful for you and you should know that and uh, I have made this for you so for that uh, I'm requesting to you to uh, subscribe my channel and uh, share this video and like this video and make comments and uh, tell me is it uh, good or not so it will be inspir inspiring for me so thank you very much for watching this video